Hello and welcome to PKR TV. Coming up on this week's show, a $1, $2 cash game session from the 15th of May. This week's cast includes cash game TV stalwart Cabota Joe and Smudge 777, an Englishman who won both of our richest events, the PKR Masters and the PKR 500 in January. On the pundit's couch joining me is Team Pro and WSOP title holder Scott Shelley. One buck, two buck. Three buck, oh. four, no, no, sorry, <laughs> yeah, it's that, one, two. Yeah, and there are some uh, <laughs> some names here too. Airbag is someone who uh, has been here many a time before oh. and provided us with plenty of entertainment. Jenny Doom, a former Masters champion. Played a bunch of them recently. All right. Well, Jenny Doom out of the block straight away with the suited King Queen. Big dog from Ireland. Oh. Can peel. Yeah, and so they should. Here comes the flop. And I'm pretty sure they're glad they did. Yeah, PKR TV coolers Jenny. and beats is basically what we do. Yes. Like well, you, you're not in an absolutely disastrous spot on the flop with the King Queen of Clubs, but now, no, obviously, yeah. a brick turn ain't good. And that is that. The question is, when does the fives put all the money in? I prefer to see a raise on the flop than the turn. I'm, I'm actually quite glad they just flattered the turn. Don't mind that. Still pretty safe Jenny, for the King yeah. Queen. You yeah. can imagine Jenny I thinking, think I'm, I'm, I can be ahead a lot of the time here. I really like the flat call in the turn from the fives just because it looks so strong when they flat call the flop and um, raise the turn on a brick. Yep. And now the way they ha really? obviously the boards run out really well for them and now they've got like one of the nuts hands here. And part of your but range could be the busted straight Exactly. The, everything's missed. King Jack's missed. Jack Nine's missed. Any I other know. hands, and they're going to get paid off every time here by King Queen, I think. I'm afraid so. Yeah. Jenny sees the bad so, news. But actually, Jenny, was... that wasn't a full double up for the fives. Nah. And so, Jenny, you know, when you're in that spot, and we, we are sometimes, all of us, and it's the worst spot in poker, right? Uh, short of, like, flopping the lower flush against someone with right. a bigger one. I mean, that is yeah. the oh. worst it gets. That's kind of annoying, yeah. Yeah. Ah, well. Uh, oh, my God, hangover. Opens it from early position with the suited ace jack. Kabota Joe, who uh, plays a lot of these and has been running a little right, bit tough fold. recently. Good Booked a few losses, but perhaps today will be his day. I like the race size here. I was thinking 28. So it's pretty close. Well, Airbag got an early chance I to can't. double up. These guys are pretty deep, though. 500 bucks cool. is the max buy in 250 big lines. Let's see the flop. Here we go. I check. Nothing for the ace jack. Check. Well, if the diamonds were hearts, it would be all going Indeed. in. But, well, not maybe okay. not all going in, but. Yeah. But well, you're hoping for like seven deuce deuce or something similar, oh, really? but this they is not the, the greatest diamonds. flop in the world. And they get it in for a sizable pot. Them. Well, Cabo straight. Straight up has uh, dusted one stack off. Half a stack. Well, half a stack. Yeah, yeah. my bad. My bad. Uh, Smudge ah, triple seven. Man. Have you uh, come across him? We know that he's won a huge amount of money um, in PKR terms, certainly from tournaments in 2012. Yeah, he's... Um, cash game? What's he... I haven't played any cash with him. He was on my table in the high roller the other day. I think he's considered to be primarily a, a cash game player, isn't he? Even though he's taken down our two biggest tournaments. I mean, tournaments I've not or? been playing tons right. and tons of okay. cash, but I've been dipping my toes yeah, in here and there. And yeah. I, well, think I've, I think I've seen him once or twice, but not as man, much okay. as maybe. Well, the way people oh, talk about him, they say oh. that he can turn his hand to anything just because he's a smart poker player. But uh, we shall make oh. that judgment based on our sure. small sample size today. Jenny Here's again. What a life. Oh, well, maybe not that good, Check. though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, this could be the beginning of a disastrous session for Jenny. Jimmy's. Let's cool. have the turn card. All right. Still safe. 67. Jenny's absolutely hoping she's up against Ace Queen. Jimmy's. 67. And not one of these. This is a river. dirty hands that can easily get there on the river, but they don't. Check. And, uh, well, there's been a lot of really ugly river. Well, cards, Pablo's right? only got 51 uh, behind, and the pot was 194. Do you think at some stage Pablo should have just uh, got it in 
Or got it in on the flop, yeah, maybe. I, would, I mean, you've got a gut shot and a flush draw on the flop. I'm probably looking to try and get it in there. Shh, I mean, he's saved himself 51 bucks. Fold. And actually, he would have been paid off if he got it in on the river, as we were, would have known. But uh, Jenny should have tried the old $1 bet to induce the... <laughs> I did two. It would have had to be two. Oh, sorry, $2. Indeed. <laughs> I did that the other day in a tournament. It didn't work. Hey, you have. But... Who was it? You were you watching me and said that what are you doing? When I had the, I had the nuts and like led really small, when I thought my opponent had nothing, and oh, it was yeah, either yeah. gonna call the small really small bet yeah. or just go ballistic so and just go all in. <laughs> and you got a pass. I got a pass for like a two k oh, bet wow. into like a twenty k pot, like yeah. literally ten percent of pot. Wow. Imagine if cool. you could bluff in that spot then some of the time. If you don't have it, what an incredible price you're okay, laying yourself. I call. I call. Mm. Incredible. Maybe you should incorporate yeah, that into your game. That would you you would feel really proud. It's like as you said, when you bluff someone in the limit, hold them. Right, right. That's right, how right. good you yeah. would feel with that. Like one into twenty five. It's like That's if they pass, I'm just gonna feel so good. I showed it in their faces, those Vegas idiots. <laughs> 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 yes. Drunk as a skunk I was too, but still. I'm Take that, you pigeons. I, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I, I really did uphold the uh Oh, wow, look at this. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, yeah, but no, that's cool, that's cool. That's pretty sick free roll here. I'm all in. Oh, they get it. Look, he's going to feel sick when he sees the free roll. Oh. It doesn't come through, but <laughs> you would feel sick in that spot. You're I like, suppose so. I would have felt uh, a little bit bad for Cavo there. I mean, you but, feel better yeah. than you do when he's got ace-queen, mm. but to see that you can't win the pot, but you can lose it is quite unfortunate. Yes, indeedy. All right, it's time for a funky bluff of some sort. Yeah, I want to see something crazy. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, Cash Game TV oh, will go oh, six oh. max for a little while in uh, September. We'll rock a couple I of them, found. quite mm. possibly. See a little, and maybe, uh, maybe because uh, these are the highlights, right. of course, folks, from a two-hour oh. session, which is mm. not a lot you get, what? So here, we've got 111 hands in, which is not that much in order to see loads of funky oh. stuff and some action. Maybe we'll uh, should do some crazy one one day where they play with like a thousand big blinds, like one k at fifty cent, one dollar. Oh, maybe, right. maybe if you round up some hilarious. of your buddies, round up Mazone and the boys, and, and I'll do that. Card. They're not my friends. I'm just, I just, <laughs> yeah. I just play nice to them and take their money all <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell anyone. Yeah, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Mazone shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the way down. There's a new kid on the block. Oh, you got to love the brother. Yeah. Fold. Fold. All right, Cabo's next opportunity. Race. Opens with the nines. Cool. Pablo with the shortish stack, but 30 bigs. Cushy. Fold. Fold. Uh, calls three and Fold. a half of them. I call. Brings in the Here six rear diamonds. Girl. Who's going to be... Boom. Yeah, this is one of the better flops for that hand. Yeah, well, uh, Cabo's still ahead. At just the one over card. I feel like the way I've seen him play, he... Oh, well, uh, uh, he declines. And uh, check. Pablo goes ahead. I wonder if the 6 is looking to check raise again or just to check <laughs> Yeah. And uh, is... Cabo knows better than to bet that turn. Yeah. Bet. Pablo takes the chance I to call. get some value. And the 6-3, monster flop. His hand doesn't look that good on the turn now with just the one card to come. Nines knows that uh, and there's little a chance of him being ahead. And the 6-3, you I feel, can. has got the minimum. Bet. Raise. Yes. Snap <laughs> move, raise. Well, I suppose Thank he's got God. the maximum, given that his opponent was short-stacked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, there we go. I like that snap min raise. I suppose the ace could have put it, put his like fifty. No, it wasn't even fifty bucks. It was like forty-two bucks in on the turn instead fold. of putting half it in. But whatever. A fold. Fold. Airbag recipient of the aces already gets the king queen. No Wouldn't see Jenny go near this usually. Hopefully they played at the blackjack table. She's having a think. This reminds oh, me of WPT cushy. Aruba. Remember? My it really out. does. Mike Matasau, the week before he goes to jail, desperately needs the win. Redemption. Freddie, was Freddie, D. Freddie D was on there. And yeah. one of the Brenners brother, the less, well, yeah. the less retarded of the Brenners brothers. Not the brothers. shark, Umberto. 
Eric, the, I think. The less, yeah, Eric the less Brenner. successful one. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you know what else reminds me of the when the PCA first started when Isaac Haxton had really long hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And was yeah, playing yeah. Wasn't Joe Cassidy. Was Ryan it? Doubt. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I just remember his really long hair. A long time ago. I'm going to check. It's kind of cool. They had a little piece of glass to hold down the yeah. mini glass. <laughs> yeah. Use the damn glass. In case they blew away. Yeah, man. Who doesn't want to play outside? That's the one thing about poker rooms. Uh, do, Sweaty you, men. You must have seen coverage of when Stu Unger won, uh, won it, didn't he? <clears throat> outside a in little Vegas. Bit. Yeah. That looks sick. Yeah. I'd love to do that, play outside in Vegas. <laughs> Although it's absolutely yeah. sweltering out there. Maybe with some umbrellas at night. and fans. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, at night. And fans no, as well. No, them things at the clubs. Them sprays. Yeah. You, they have everywhere. I know. The mist things. I'm going to This is a river. Yeah. Well, Tommy Lou somehow, Check. well, I suppose he developed a draw. Check. There you go. Uh, checks it down with a bit of showdown value. And uh, one of the less interesting pots of our lives. I want to see a car crash on the <laughs> yeah, poker table. I suppose. <laughs> right. If we're not going to learn something, we at least want to be amazed and astonished <laughs> by <laughs> something or just Fog. disgusted or horrified. Yeah. Something at the extremes. Oh, it could all please. start with a pair of queens on the button. Could do. Raise. Fold. And could smudge. Get involved here, you've got Imagineers. Flat or to free bet. Okay, I yeah, did. we've seen uh, in, in the last episode actually we saw uh, Ace Nine of Spades. Let's see the flop. free bet from the blinds, even at this full ring table. <clears throat> I bet. Let's oh. have the turn. <laughs> Lop second pair. Oh my God, hangover! He's going to feel. He's in a great position here, really. Mm. Bet. Just gets to call. call it off. This is a river. It's not the. W it's. Okay, it it looks go. bad, but it's not the worst river for the queens, really. Yeah, they've got a bet now. Definitely. I bet. Good bet. And the a seven. I guess you have the chance. Good bet. Size. I mean, I guess you have the chance to move in. Do you have the chance to call? Is it fold or 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 occasionally shove? I mean, their opponents raised the button and flatted a free bet, so. You can't really put queens in their range, but you've got to put hands like the spades, a okay, nine. Smudge call. calls. Pocket fours. I don't blame him for making the call. Really? I think he's checked the river to make the call. I think if he bets the river, he might be able to not only save money by a blocker bet, but if he gets raised, he can fold. All right. I I didn't see the call as the most likely of the three options there on the river for the ace set. I don't think he was ever raising. He's got too much showdown. He's got top two. Mm. Theoretically, oh. he's got top oh. pair, top oh. kicker. Oh. Yeah, I said, but no, I mean, I, I figure the raise is the, the least likely, maybe. Yeah, raise is oh, always God. the least likely there for me, and fold second least likely. I think he's calling Je suis. majority of the time okay. there. Oh. I'm just wondering what you figure your opponents have that you beat. But uh, onwards we go. Check. And a mighty sextet go to the flop. And uh, Check. Airbag's got the second nut flush draw in and over. Check. Check. We've got bottom pair for Tommy Lou. And top pair for Jenny Doom. And the button. Airbag says, yes, please. Let's get some money in the pot. Jenny has the opportunity to Je suis fold. isolate. No, oh, like a flat here. Okay. I'm Two minutes in behind the Moe Wei Lin pot. You can easily be, like, absolutely crushed. But... Gin on the turn. Yeah. And uh, do you flat? All oh, right. Uh, if airbag follows up on the turn, do you flat or do you raise? Where well, there, there's got to be a decision raise. there. You're so strong there that right. You've got to raise because the pot size is way too small. Right. I mean, you want to try and get some value in there now because mm. you're like got the nuts really, in the majority of the time. I yeah. call. Here comes the river. Yeah, an airbag bricks, and uh, there's only 72 in the pot. Just move all in, airbag. <laughs> they can't call. You've got 3 4, surely. I bet. Uh, he, he's bet. He tries. There it is. Which is, uh, it's an attempt of sorts. 
I'm trying to think if I would have raised that river on Queen Jack. The only hand that you would be a well, I suppose you could be up against a set, but it doesn't. No, seem but that like, likely. But, looks like, but no, no. But, but the straight you're betting there big to I'm represent raising, the I'm straight, raising not to, to look like a, a bluff to get worse to p pay me off. Right, right, right. But I figure your well, opponent. I've you're, yeah, I've but your the, opponent's only betting the river there, or at least representing a straight or yeah, but a they set. Might, right, I don't no. really see. So your opponent's or a bluff. got Queen X of Hearts. Right. They're still trying to squeeze value out on the river, yeah. you think? Okay. I, I think so. I think that's one of the very, very few situations where that happens. I think, I think some people would bet worse than the queen on the river there than value. Yeah, but having had the initiative taken away from them, that's what I'm saying, is on the turn. Oh, yeah, you make a point. You know, they on the turn when they called, they were in like check call mode by but that stage, and then that, they let back into leading the river mode, which yeah, is just that, unusual. That, that could be to get value from a hand that's checking behind. Right. Okay. All right. Cool. I don't know. Yeah. Here comes the flop. Well, the queen nine has the momentum here. Check. They say it has the nut hand, <laughs> and the jack has the problem. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the way the betting goes, this is going to be strange. It's going to be bet here. In fact, I can I can see Smudge. Ah, uh, well, you think I he's dry think. enough that he has to he has to follow up having three bet pre. And Jacks, it's a fairly easy check call here with the um, Jacks. Were they the opener? Uh, right. Jacks opened. Uh, Ace eight called Queen nine three bet. Jacks called. And Ace eight called behind. All in. <laughs> well, <laughs> and uh, oh my god, well, Let's have the yeah. it's a one thousand dollar pot. It's a you have to be putting your opponent on. Oh, well, I suppose you're there's no way you're passing there. I, I just don't like the raise from, from the jacks on the flop. Okay, not a fan of all right, that. but even so, I mean, also, you you've checked well, raised and your opponent in the middle, yeah, who's been hitherto. I mean, that's, it might that's be the fast fact that silent. they, they priced in there, but you're always behind that right, hand. Right, right. You had another 350 to call after your you, 150. When you raise with the jacks there after the, the Queen Nine's free bet, all you're doing is scaring off any hand that you could be. You're only getting action back from Set hands from a that... flush draw with overs. Yeah, there's going to probably have an over. Yeah. Yeah. So we're well, pretty much a coin flip again. Right. Yeah. Like, that's the worst hand Smudge is committing right. with. Uh, cool. For example, say that Ace-8 wasn't there and folds whatever hand they did have. Mm. Smudge is only then committing with the worst hand okay, now about a flush draw, I think. That was the other guy. <clears throat> it was Cabot. Cabot Joe, who wins the pot of the session, actually. With yeah, the but ASA. I'm saying if he's not in the hand. Ah, right, I see. I see. he's there. The yeah. Smudge is basically passing everything, pretty much. Yeah, when the Jacks yeah, raises. Yeah, yeah. Except for possibly. He's pocket tens is like the only hand, basically. Yeah, but it's close. Yeah. All right. Close, I think. Well, pot of the session there, and the Jacks... What happens if the Jacks flats the 50-something, leaving himself 450 behind, and then the ace-8 pops it up? Now the Jacks isn't committed. He's only put in a tenth of his stack so he far. Fold. Right. Because the guy in the middle suddenly woken up and decided he's going to like, I know it's only, I it's only repping like a really massive hand. But. Yeah. All right. Well, this Smart looks like... Smudge is not going to like this. Yeah, and, and uh, how many times here do you re-raise with the Kings compared to calling for deception value? Because calling with aces and kings, calling people's three bets with calling. aces and kings is, yeah. is more frequent now than it used to be because you don't there want you to go. be... Let's see the flop. Oh. oh, dear. What a life, smudge, what a life. And it has two $1,000 pots in a row. You can see the two of them at the top. And, Come on, uh, boys, get it in together now. Well, ca yeah. <laughs> well, 2K well, at 1-2. Well, well Cabo did nothing wrong. He just flopped the, pretty much the nuts and then yeah. gets it in against someone oh. who dusts it off. And there, well, smudge just uh, enjoys right. a good piece of Fold. fortune. Fold. The suited Shelley. Oh, the suited Shelley up against the Aces. This is a it's an, a reenactment cool. of Jack, the greatest it was, day. It was Jack 5-4. Oh! <laughs> how close wow. is that? It, it might, was Jack 5-4. But, but without the additional help of the Jeez. flush draw, though. Yeah. <laughs> so is it going to be a four on the turn and we're all going to go ballistic? Yeah. Four. 
Oh, oh that's the Jack 5 4. <laughs> get rid of the Queen. <laughs> Oh. Well, still got plenty of equity though, yeah. Cavo. Well, you... they don't need the four; they got the spades. They got loads behind and, uh, as well. Got jacks, um, sevens or fours. They got loads behind. There's no problem flatting this, presumably. Oh. Ooh, he decides for the, uh, the. And I tell you what, the ace is not going to be mad oh. happy about that, but she gets it in anyway because fuck it, she's one of masters. She's got loads <laughs> of money. Let's just get it in. And uh, now the question is: Well, unfortunately, you have. Uh, what have you got? That's like it's like three a. No, isn't it? It's way more than that. No, isn't it? It's like three eight. Oh yeah, sorry, I was looking at the wrong, uh, the wrong figure. So actually, uh, it's not, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's close enough that it's n can't be a bad decision, right? Yeah, it can't like, be a terrible. Now you're decision. just like meh, get there, bink. <laughs> 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 wow, and what a life for Cabo, who'd uh, two pots early on what a life. to dust off a stack, and now happy days right, indeed. And this is one two, but it's uh, you can win a bit of cash here. There we I go. Fold, fold. And the aces. Oh, dear. You wait You wait the whole session to get it in a spot like that, and unfortunately... Okay, I call. Doesn't go his way. Gross Khan opens. Picks up a couple of dominated hands behind. Welcome Twister, a Masters champion too. Two at the table. Three at the table, actually. Smudge, Twister, Jenny Doom. Cool. I guess if we wait long enough... Everyone will be a master champion, though, right? Even you. Although, hopefully, I won't be sat in this commentary booth in like 300 Check. years' time. Check. That'd be sick. Although, although, like Mr. Burns in The Simpsons, Bet. they could have, like, stick his head in one of those little bell jars and I keep him call. alive. Well, That'll be me. A bell jar, if that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Second-hand bell jar. Don't worry about it. Minimum second We'll all be like that. Oh, There'll be loads of us in a room. It'll be like I The thought. Matrix. That is the gin card. Book of Butter Joe is already destroying it. Yeah, absolutely destroying it. Just, uh, he's been ahead these last okay. few hands where he's won big he's pots. Oh, and he bricks about. Just in case he was worried about clubs or <laughs> the board pairing. Yeah, and, uh, well, 141 in. Smudge has got tons behind, but uh, I don't see this pot getting too big. Yeah, Smudge probably going to cool. Yeah, he's beaten by a few hands here. It would be a surprising raise, I think. Mm. Cool. There you yeah, go. and he doesn't do it. Another one, modestly sized pot, goes to Cabota Joe. He's hit the thousand big blind mark. Yeah, you must be can. nice. Fantastic. I don't mind it at all. He's a good four of my, and oh. uh, he's he's definitely had a rough time. In uh, in recent fault. months at the Cash Game TV table through no fault of his own. So, yes, deserve it. That is. Yeah, he's kids. been free bear me, me a bunch on the Cash Games as well, actually, is forgetting about right? it. Okay. Should really be taking notes. I haven't really been paying attention. Oh, taking fault. notes. Should be taking notes. Taking names. Should be using this as a little bit of research here. Yeah, mate. Here comes the flop. So what does he do with that 7 4 spades? Check. Yes. Uh, Dave Kings, who opened pre, gives up, and the green light for Twister to just take this one. <laughs> he did free bet pre as well. Who? Uh, Twister. All right, okay, my bad. So you got to imagine it's going to be very, very hard for him to lose this part. Yeah, I mean, it's not beyond the realms of possibility that Dave Kings can feel that he's ahead. But he knows it's going to be difficult to play it on turn and river. Let's oh, have the turn card. Oh, oh, I wanted the deuces to hold there. And, uh, well, Twister takes it, and fair enough. I kind of like the fact that Dave's Kings didn't just automatically look at that flop and think, oh, no, well, I've only got the worst pair you can possibly have. He felt like, yeah, there's a, there's a fair chance I'm going to spin the wheel. Close of the session coming up. Fold. And oh. the chance for one more yeah, pot, <laughs> occasionally, but probably at lower stakes. Ooh, everyone, limp. Ooh, everyone at the table I agrees to like get you know ten bigs in or twenty yeah. bigs in or something like that, and then check it all the way down. Oh, but uh, I'm waiting till we get a ten k flip where everyone's got a bag in. Should do that. And it's just going to be like, yeah. oh, yeah. shot, Mazone won it. Or maybe just a whole, bang. or maybe just a whole session of those. Check. 
Chat yeah, the yeah, I mean, we're not exactly be commentating on much strategy, but it will still be amusing. Someone could be sitting there with like 100k Indeed. at a VR table. Isn't it worth that it? It's worth it. I call. And here's the river. But then someone will decide to like pass once they've seen their cars and there'll be a mad okay. scandal. Yeah. Who would yeah, do that? Yeah. Everyone will move all in and there'll be someone in the <laughs> yes. be like, exactly. I've got Deuce 9 off, man. What do you want me to do here, man? <laughs> and uh, the session ends with Cab out to Joe booking the biggest win we've seen from him so far. Well, finally, success for Kabota Joe. He books a $1,120 win at the other end, Jenny Doom. Uh, well, she can afford the $646 loss. Uh, but I guess uh, we had one big pair hold up for Kabota Joe, but you'll be particularly fond of the main hand where his <laughs> mighty 7-4 cracked the aces. Um, now, in these kind of sessions, how is it important to try and get in there and crack these big hands. Is that the way you're going to be winning big pots, assuming that you're not going to be dealt loads of big hands and set up? So you yeah, I think um, basically, unless you're going to get aces v kings or just a cooler situation where you've got big hand v big hand, the best way to win pots is trying to find good spots to come into multi-way pots with hands that flop well, like the seven four spades. And the key thing, presumably, is an opponent who actually wants to pay you off. Therefore, they've yeah. got to have a hand. Yeah, I mean, with seven four spades, you're looking to just flop big and get paid or get out of the hand. It's not, maybe I'm going to flop one pair and see how it goes. Sort easy of poker. Yeah, exactly. Leave yourself with easy decisions. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining me, Scott. No see you next time, folks.